a new find at the fragrance counter. We're willing to bet you'll soon start seeing ads for a product called perfume oil. So what is it and how is it different than that smell good bottle that we already buy and have seated on our counter? Beauty Snoop Megan Moore is here to keep us in the know. It's good to see you. Thank you. So we have perfume. Yes. And now we have perfume oils. What are the differences? So perfume oils don't have any alcohol in them. They're a thicker consistency and they are indeed oils. So they're great because they're really concentrated and they kind of, they're meant to work into your skin and kind of become part of your skin. So they'll smell a little different on everybody. Mm -hmm. They don't evaporate off like alcohol based sprays do so they last a long time so they're kind of luxurious a different a little more sophisticated I would say so without the alcohol less drying less drying great for people with sensitive skin or anything people that are have aversion to alcohol so again moisturizing they're designed to go into your pulse points so it's kind of a sensual experience you're experiencing the mm -hmm. feel of it and the smell of it so it's a really unique fun experience all around people have different reactions to fragrances but mm -hmm. if you're someone and I fit into this category who likes to smell my perfume on me yes. all day and I know others around me might not appreciate that as much but does this give you a long lasting all day scent? Yes because typically spray perfumes go on and they give you a burst of fragrance right at the beginning uh -huh. but then over time they evaporate off whereas these kind of milk into the skin and so they do they last a lot longer you're going to be able to catch a whiff of it throughout the day. Do they leave a little film or, or any sort no, of? No they absorb right into the skin okay. it's natural usually kind of essential oil grade oil so they do go into the skin entirely so it's not going to leave anything that you can that you can see but you can certainly smell it. So I know you're ahead of this trend. You've had a chance to sample some of the new lines that are coming yes. out. Would you trade in your perfume fume for a perfume yeah, oil? Yeah, so I've been researching for this for a while and I've actually had a couple of these already. So when, when this topic came up, I was like, oh, I'm already on board with this. I got this. Um, for sure. So yeah, I am. I'm subbing out my regular sprays and I like these because I feel like they're really custom. You can really tweak them to your personal scent. Okay, what are some lines we should look for? What are your favorite scents? Okay, so this first one over here, this is Nirvana and that's by Mary Kate and Ashley Olson. Oh. And so they each came up with the scent. So the black one is really dark and earthy. Uh -huh. It's got vanilla in it and sandalwood, so it's very rich. And then the lighter one, white, Nirvana White, is more floral. It has peony in it, and so it's light and fresh, very feminine. So one's great for nighttime, one's great for daytime. I really love both of them. Apparently this is why they were too busy to be in Fuller House. Exactly. They had <laughs> they were, lots going on. They were busy. Isn't that beautiful? This And this has this really unique little, um, you push that little oh. button right there and it will come oh. out. Ooh, isn't that pretty? This feels okay. fancy. It is. Doesn't it make you feel fancy? Yes, I feel it like does. like you're back in time, right? Very nice. So that one's got all those beautiful floral That's scents. Too very floral light. for me. Too much for mm -hmm. you. I'm partial to the white. I really like do that. Do you? One. Okay, do. but I'm not a floral girl. I'm kind of a citrus, even more of a woodsy. So that might that black bottle might Okay, so more. I've got a citrus one for you. Okay, so this what? next one here, this is called the blend, and this is by Fred Siegel. Okay, it's very unique. So you can buy them individually and they're individual notes. So one is spice, one is vanilla, one is citrus. So oh. they're all individual. You can buy them one by one or a whole set like this. Uh -huh. And these are designed to blend together. So you layer them. They have recipes online that you can follow. So it's like two swirls of vanilla and two swirls of spice and you get different flavors. It's a cocktail. It's a cocktail. <laughs> it's so fun. So this one's really pretty. This was my favorite. Number three is vanilla, which men are love vanilla. <laughs> Megan's like tested that one I, out. I know that men Last like it. Week. And then number 10 day. right here is citrus, which you will probably like. So mm. isn't that nice? So that's vanilla. That one's definitely a favorite. Oh, see, yeah, I love the citrus. Yeah, so that one's beautiful. And vanilla and citrus together, they make a great... May I? Because yes. I'm just dipping yep, into put your them in, Put them into your pulse points. Anywhere okay. in the, the warmth of your skin is going to help it radiate off. And that's where the scent's going to come from. And it will smell different on you uh -huh. than it does on me. Is That's what's so unique about them. With your body oils yep. and your difference. Yep, your temperature, everything's different. So isn't that a cool... So you can find these at Sephora.com and you can buy this whole set. Ten of them for 150 or individuals for 25 if we were to invest in just two individuals, you like the vanilla and what else? I like vanilla and I like the white tea, which is number seven, I think. That oh. one's real. it's a spice and that one's really beautiful okay. too. I'm pretty much going to come home smelling like the fragrance counter. My husband's going to be like, oh, hey, <laughs> what's smell Jed the door. What's going on Yeah, there, okay, Brooke? what else? Okay, so this next one here is called Kai. Now, this one is like the ultimate vacation smell. So I recommend you take this on a beach vacation with you. The reason is, is we know that scent and memory are so tied together. Yes. So take a scent on your vacation, and then when you get home, every time you wear it, you're going to be taken back there instantly. So this one smells like gardenia, which uh -huh. of course to me is Hawaii. Yes. So you smell that, and it's like a lay going on. On, smell that 
It's just like you're getting put a lay on it at the when you get to the hotel mm -hmm, at mm -hmm. Gardenia. Oh, it's so good. So you're, this, cr you're cracking me up because just this week, I always buy a travel set when I go on a trip. Mm -hmm. Went to Hawaii last spring with my family, yeah. and I pulled out the remnants of my travel kit that I had taken, uh -huh. and it did. Lathering my hair, that shampoo took mm -hmm. me clear back to Isn't Maui. Isn't that so cool? Mm -hmm. So every time I smell that, I go back to the beach of Hawaii. Mm. So take it with you on a trip, and then you'll have it with you forever because that okay. memory kicks in. Is this one? Isn't this so cool? What is that? Okay, so this company is called Inkling Scents, and okay. again, it's an oil. Now, they have the roll-ons, but they also make these really cool kind of ink pot and quill pen. Oh so this gosh. is this beautiful display. Isn't that beautiful? Like, you get that on your dressing table, and it's just so gorgeous. Again, adds to that sensory. So we dip that in, and then this goes right across, and you can put it into yeah, I'm your out pulse of, points. I'm out of points now, so it's Isn't up that to nice? you. Mm -hmm. And this one is called Unify. It's a unisex scent. So this oh. one um, can be worn by men or women. It's very citrusy again, has great fruit in it. It's awesome. So if you're having a hard time convincing your hubby to let you display this feather quill on the <laughs> nightstand, say, hey, it's for you too. Yes, <laughs> and they also, share. they make different, you know, displays. So they have some that are geared towards men that don't have the feather quill, okay. but I love it. I think it's so glamorous. One more pick for us. And this is Diptyque. Diptyque is really well known for their candles. You may have oh. seen them in Nordstrom. They're really famous for that, but they also make amazing fragrances. This one's called Dosun, and it is, again, very seductive, and it's a rose scent. So mm. if you like rose, um, kind of those exotic flowers, this one's very good. I love the packaging. You can just feel how really a high quality is with that glass. Mm -hmm. The roller's beautiful on this. And again, these ones are going to probably last you the longest out of any of them. You've touched on some lesser known brands. Do you think we'll see some of the more popular names like a Lancome or a Clinique yes. coming out with this perfume oil? Yes. Typically, it's been kind of boutique companies, smaller ones that make small batches. But we're starting to see them more and more in other fragrances like Nirvana, which is available at Sephora and is a well-known perfume. And now they're starting to make the oil. So yes, we're going to see more and more of it. This is fun. A it trend is. to watch Isn't out for. Fun? For more beauty advice or recommendations, where can we find you? Always look at my website, which is thebeautysnoop.com. And great tips on Instagram, too. Oh, yes. I appreciate Always. those little snippets. Thank you so much, <laughs> Megan. All right.